slightly worked. The only problem is now I've just got to be consistent for the rest now. This doesn't always happen at the moment. Hi everyone, I'm Jay Course. Good to see you again. We return to the touring cars for this week at Alton Park. The uh the island layout, which is a lot of people's preferred layouts. Do have a dangerous hairpin followed by a dangerous chicane. But if you can get really good at those corners as well as one or two pretty quick ones, then you'll be absolutely flying in this race. It is a thin circuit though, so just like Donington Park last week, not very many opportunities to get an overtake in. We uh, had two splits at the time of recording. We got thrusted straight into the bottom split. Isn't that supposed to be thrusted into the top? Wrong analogy. But anyway, we made light of the situation. We knew there was going to be a lot, of a lot of pressure on us. We had to perform. Put in an absolutely sweltering hot qualifying lap, only to be beaten by about 7,000th or something like that. So, can we get our starts nailed? Can we keep it consistent around Alton Park? And can we try and pick up a podium or maybe even a win? If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the Twitch for live racing as well during the weekends. And guys, our next community event is coming this weekend. It is going to be Okiyama with the Mazda MX-5s. If you want to have a say in what tracks we do in the future, join the Discord. Just go to discord.gg forward slash jcools spelled exactly the same as what the YouTube channel is. Just do it. Do it. Do it. Done it? Okay, good. See you all in there and see you all straight after this race. My boy KFT. The track temp is 35 Celsius. The air temp okay, is this. 26 Celsius. Okay, Jay, be ready. Watch for the lights. Go. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. Great start. Just defend. Make sure no one takes me on the inside. Nice, because it was an Audi. I knew it was going to be a bloody Audi. Always an Audi. Good start, mate. Right, so I thought Sorry, Kim. if they're going to follow my braking line. I'll purposely right. go a little bit wider on that one, and it seems to have slightly worked. The only problem is now, I'm I've just got to be consistent for the rest now. This doesn't always happen at the moment.
But as long as I keep clean, I should be good. Hopefully. Just gotta be careful of the cold tires in the first lap. I hope I can stretch this lead out. There seems to be potential for a battle behind. So I'm hoping that they keep each other busy on that one. We'll see. The guy who uh, qualified first, I think it was, uh, yeah, it was Jay. Very quick. Very, very quick. Well done, Jay. This is terrific. Exactly what we came here for. You're leading. Just want to try and get him at least two and a half seconds behind. I'm just playing it safe by going third gear in here at the moment. You can do it in fourth. But, like I said, just playing it safe at the moment. Look for the two bumps. One, two. Now I can go as tight as I want into here. One of my, sh I think that's probably one of my stronger corners in the whole course. And now coming up to one of my weakest. Never. I can never nail it. But we're doing okay so far. Doing okay. Just gotta hope that every lap they have a go each other around this corner. Because if they do, that's going to give me three, four attempts a lap automatically just from that. And yeah, th this is a good course. This is actually re it's a typical touring car course anyway. So similar to Dyneton last week, just one of those that just try and keep uh, your line as much as possible. It's very hard to pass, but you will will have uh, certain opportunities like this corner. And that last corner as well. But the what I need to do right now is just keep cool and chill out. Just keep consistent. That wasn't consistent, but because it's a chicane, I can just be a little bit. I can sort of adjust myself halfway through if I go wrong. Will lose me a little bit of time, but it's not not the end of the world. Kim, it's getting closer. The gap is now 1.8. Try and keep that one swift turn in action. Hopefully that delta can uh, be predominantly green throughout. You're now in the lead. Now? The guy behind what was it before? Half a second quicker. Oh boy. This could be a, a make a great clap. I wonder if that was a chicane which knocked off uh, quite a bit of time. This is terrific. Exactly what we came here for. All right, Jay. Ten minutes to go. That's ten minutes left. I think I kind of didn't go through that hairpin correctly last lap either, so that definitely would have held some time back. So hairpin chicane. You need to nail them both. Not my quickest, but better than what last lap was. Don't like that corner. <laughs> if I can pull away from them on bad corners, then my better corners like these, I should be able to pull away a little bit more. So we need to see if that thing that has dogged us through loads of videos now. Thank you, Michael. We're setting the pace.
Hopefully we can come good of it, and that's consistency. Oh, third place and he got half a second up on me there. Which is good, because then that means he got seven tenths on a second place behind. See, that was a terrible corner. That was so bad. So, so bad. <laughs> Amount of times I've hit that second part of the chicane. Not even funny. Right, so there is a back marker that we're closer to catching up to than them catching us, but other side of the track, so we should be good. Should be fine. So the aim for that is just make sure I hit the hairpin. Uh, <laughs> Apex? Apex? Jay, halfway home, fuel's good. The gap to Kim behind is now 2.3 seconds. Sector 2 is 0 0.35 off the pace. Exit to that corner and the following two corners are uh, absolutely diabolical for uh, be a safety rating if you like off tracks. While well, I'm playing it a little bit safe as well. I've been pretty careless the last two, three weeks. We need to curb it slightly. Try and use that outside if I can. And that felt better. This feels like I get a better exit. Now I've seen people just swap to third gear halfway through the corner. I'm still not totally sure what I'm more comfortable with. Still very nervous over that corner, that curve. Good news is though, that Hugo is closer to Che than Che is to me. But Che's worrying me. Unless Hugo passes him and uh, starts to get a bit of distance between them both. Then I'll worry about Hugo. <laughs> that was a terrible corner. That was so bad. But Hugo is within a second of chain now. Oh, that's the closest I'll go to that corner this race, I think. Yeah, see, we're, we're, if I hit the corner like that, Jay, just that does feel better. Hold your nerve. And you we can, can tell by the times, it's gone from 2.3 to 2.5, so it's just a really hard corner for me to master, and I'm getting this quite a bit at the moment. There's, there's, there are just certain corners on this course where you're either going to be really good at them, or it's going to take a lot of time to, to master them. Right, we're in the second now. Looks like fourth has made a mistake. I massively slowed down for that corner a bit too early there. But so far so good. Last five minutes now. And again, just a really horrible corner. Does mean I get 
a better exit out of it, but I don't want that. I just want to be quick into the corner now. I'll start dropping too much and giving them an inch. They'll take three. They'll, they'll see the time. They'll see that they've got a chance of catching and they'll push just that little bit harder, but looks like Hugo's getting within 0.4. Behind is now 2.4 seconds. So hopefully they have a nice battle for second. Hopefully they don't think, okay, if we work together we can catch. To be honest, so four, three minutes left. They're not gonna have time. You've used half your fuel. Hopefully. 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 Okay, Jay. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Okay, she stretched to three seconds, and I think they're battling. Come on. Been very fortunate with the split I've been placed in. That I'm even getting an opportunity at podium. Oh, Hugo just went wide. They've wasted a little bit of time with each other, I think. Well, I'm going to take it a little bit easier around that chicane. Just to make sure, because that exit of the second part of the chicane, if you touch it, it's a race killer. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Sometimes it's a meatball. Sometimes you just won't be able to feel anything in your left tyre. Next to each other? No, not yet. One of them will make a move here though, for sure. Last lap, come on. They're not, oh, they are kind of pushing each other. Okay, Jay, 10 minutes of fuel remaining. One more lap, you're P1. Yeah, I am. Okay, so just go take it easy, try and keep as safe as possible this lap. Got no back markers coming up in front of us. We're good. So if you're trying to learn how to take the track and laps, ignore this lap. Back from this chicane, because that might be one of the best I've done that chicane. Yeah, okay, you can you can watch that chicane, but anything else don't don't bother. Oh, it'd be real heartbreak if they took each other out. I hope they don't. See... Ian Kim has got half a second. Over Hugo. Right, zero instant points as well. Bonus. There we have it. We actually won Alton Park. Get in. Nice one, Jay. Great win. You deserved that today. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. So Jay managed to hold on for that second place, but that is our third win of the season, which, coming from someone who doesn't win very often, I'm just absolutely amazed in. And all three of our wins, I think, have all been touring car as well. So I'm thinking maybe next season we we scrap the casualness and we actually aim for that 2K and try and get ourselves into those top splits, top two splits when there are more splits. Because I, I have a really good feeling when we're behind the wheel of that Civic at the moment. So yeah, there's, we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit later as the weeks go by and the season comes to a close but decent lap pace safety rating going up same with i rating as well our, our i rating is sort of sort of floundering between 1.4 and 1.8 at the moment so we, we need to 
try and get that consistency back up with some of the classes we ride in and, and aim for that 2k. We, we need that 2k. If I can nearly hit it with oval and I race oval less, I need, I need to be doing it in my preferred series as well. But thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already, like the video, subscribe, join the Discord, follow on Twitch as well. And I will see you all, but if it's not a video later this week, as Skip Barb is at Nürburgring, so we might do that, you never know. So if it's not that, then I will see you all next week. Thank you so much for watching, and keep safe. Take care.